hi welcome back uh, another important session it's been a while i'm just doing uh, again one more video uh, let's try to understand today what is the loading point in sap sd or le if you take s4 or na anything sap logistics execution is one of the key module so it will uh, diversify your skills if you learn this let's try to check how the loading point will be defined okay quickly so definition and use okay let me try to get into that it's always better to learn the business behind in it if you want to learn anything okay loading point okay what exactly it is so let me try to little zoom out okay so so that you can uh, able to see this so what is this uh, loading point so it's very simple it's a uh, loading point is uh, subdivision of uh, your uh, shipping point so i think you aware of that shipping point uh, shipping point okay in my previous videos i have explained it is one of the key uh, to determine your delivery documents without this you cannot able to process your delivery process it is uh, you can say that after plant it is uh, in mm it is highest element plant is but shipping point is the highest element for your logic logistics execution process so now let me try to give one business example suppose your factory located okay somewhere uh, usa okay so like uh, so this is assume that this is the center location so assume that you have a shipping point as north okay so in the similar way shipping point as south okay so let's try to keep some meaningful north is opposite to south right okay okay and uh, this is shipping point for east and this is for shipping point for west okay north east north west like that you know so this factory is located in uh, thousands of acres so basically they are manufacturing they have divided this one as uh, this uh, uh, main way yeah they have, they have defined defined like this okay in this north gate again they can able to buy for gate so it depends on the business requirements so as far as my concern in my project i have seen they probably can define like you know gate one one loading point okay gate two okay gate three like that you know they can able to define okay in the similar way so this is factory gates so like you know north side i have basically three gates are there this is one subdivision okay this this is the place where my loading uh, activities will happen okay so this is loading point 1 okay in the similar way loading point 2 in the similar way loading point 3 okay and this is how you have to understand this so simply configuring and defining uh, anyone can do so understand the business behind is very important okay so now see you got a three loading points in the similar way east side i have four five six this is one of the key example okay so you can see this if i say that my plant and shipping point are uh, back to back supporting so these gates are like you know subdivision of my shipping point so in the similar way okay you got my point in the similar way you can take another business example for example so i have a north shipping point so west shipping point here i can able to do that you know office office admin stock always admin stock should be uh, need to go loading point 1 i'm just giving another business example so next one is chemicals okay so it should go always another loading point next go to so like you know metals like you know if you are casting and processing industry or manufacturing industry like you know see it depends on it's always consultant view how you have to do it so either anything 
you can able to capture in terms of further subdivision of your shipping point. This is how you have to do it. Okay, this is the business and uh, I'll try to show you now in SAP system where loading point need to be defined, but it's an optional element. Okay, so let's uh, try to come back for SAP. Okay, so let's go to SPRO. Try to remember this path or else you can watch this video. It is very easy. Let's go to enterprise structure. Now go to definition. Okay, you are already aware of this uh, logistics execution. Here is the place where you have shipping point. Okay, below that you have a loading point. So, so let's come here loading point. Okay, so what it is asking shipping point. So let's take an example. I have created. Uh, so let me try to check. One second. One, two, one, three. Let me try to open this. Oh, I think I can take the standard as of now. I need not define any new shipping point. Okay, this is new system. Let's take this one second. Okay, press enter. Okay, now you can see this already loading points are there. Okay, uh, let's go this. So, 0, 03 in our example. So, let me take, you can give the gate one. Okay, so next go to the 0, 04, gate two in our one of the example. Okay. So I'm just trying to define it. You can take any two digit code and uh, 0, 05. This one I can take chemicals always with this gate loading point and the 0, 06 is metals. See, both will not be in the same project or else it might be different. I'm just trying to uh, try to improve your mind mapping for understanding. Let's keep this. Okay. Okay, now see in delivery, it is an optional. If you would like to, at the time of creating delivery, you can able to assign this one. Okay, let's see this. So first, uh, let's create a sale order. Okay, so I'm just taking the standard one, two, one, three, and it's one, two, and it's one, two, press enter. It's simple, and uh, let's come. This is a sole tool I have created. Okay, let's try to choose this material, some quantity. Okay, let's try to check in complete log. So gross weight, net weight. Let's do this. Okay, now let's double click this one. And you can see this shipping. Okay. Let's try to save this one. So now let's come to VL01 and press enter. So being processed, so it's a bit slow. Let's see this. So we came to the delivery now. Let's do the picking. Okay. Let's go to the loading tab. Okay. Now let's choose the loading point here. Okay, these are the loading points we have defined. Let me choose the chemicals. Okay. If you want, you can able to do the PCA. Let's save this as of now. This is how you can able to manually choose this. Let's come back. Okay. So all these, all the, uh, this is the, you know, brief about loading points. We can able to do certain activities around loading points. So sometimes 
it's an entry question be careful for this so for shipping point i need not explain already a couple of videos available in the setup this is my youtube channel if you are not yet joined please subscribe my channel so that you know you uh, i'll try to uh, the knowledge of what i have i can able to transfer it if you want to do the full fledged learning so now so my name is uh, jagdish kumar i'm sds4 functional architect so like you know you can see currently i am associated with uh, 2700 plus students and uh, 3423 enrollments till today so this is the course available 77.5 hours it will be updated sd course and with this if you learn this pricing you will get a very good idea about uh, how sales and distribution works for ecc and i have one specific course for stock transfers and intercompany sales better go through this we'll have a lot of interview questions also there around it and uh, this is the course for rebates and sap s4 hana simple logistics so now after 78 years your ecc has uh, uh, something else but uh, s4 will be going to trend actually so business partner three scenarios i have explained and if you are not if you are very new to industry getting master to write functional specification don't wait for anyone to to get the, some knowledge about real time how it works in sap projects so better go through this course and SAP S4 HANA Intercompany Sales and Consignment Sales. This is one separate course. And SAP SD ECC and S4 Export Advanced Pricing Concepts. Someone gave rating. Uh, it's a new course. Then, you know, it is imbalanced. But uh, it's a very good course. You can go through it. If I already gone through my ECC course. So this is for S4 HANA SD people. So FSEO Credit Management Concepts. Now, it is important for FSEO people also. FSEM. Uh, you know, concepts they should learn actually to implement credit management. So like, you know, I have a few set of courses. I'm just providing these links below of this video. If you like it, uh, you can subscribe and you can enhance your knowledge. It's been a while time. I'll tell you the reason why I haven't done the video. It's not all about, it's all about, you know, your project time and dedication. So thank you very much. Have a great time. Jai Hind.